Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of my Banish series. We're going through these episodes really quickly, I'm really amazed that I'm already on episode 9. I've come quite a long way already in that time, so thank you guys for watching these episodes. Anyway, today's video, what I'm hoping to start doing is I'm going to move the Gatherer's Heart and the Herbalist over to this area here. Uh, as you can see, I've already got my hunting cabin and the two foresters' lodges down. Obviously, one just planting and one cutting and planting, so we get the maximum out of the trees. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna move these buildings and get rid of this one. Perhaps we might leave it there for now, but we're gonna move these ones over to this area here. So that just allows us then to uh, safely expand the town down in this area around here this way without reducing the amount of food and medicine that we're getting so that is pretty much my game plan if we just set up these now we've got gatherers hut right so there's a little bit of a hill which is obviously restricting me building it however I can put that in there and so that's the gatherer's hut now we need the herbalist so if we have this if we have that next to it as well perhaps put that down and maybe build uh, I don't know like a house out here or something a house or two that might go down a treat so we're gonna try and get all of that sorted around about now obviously I'm aware that it's gonna take up a lot of resources this is quite a big job to be doing so we've got a little bit of a pathing issue I guess um, oh no I like to have the paths down it makes everything a bit more efficient so we've got that coming along there okay so we could have that like this there's like a little loop okay so I'm happy to let that roll out and let's begin okay so we're in late winter of year 14 I say it's year 14 that's what it's telling me here but as you can already grasp the, the aging in this is pretty strange I mean it's year 14 but we've already had people grow up and die of old age so it's a, it's a little bit twisted that the aging system I'm not fully aware of the mechanics behind it but there you go it is what it is I would also quite like to have a bridge built down here so we can access the resources over, over on this side that would be quite a good thing to get going do we need to do that just yet? probably not I want to say that we should I reckon clear out these trees here for now that would be the best bet to go with so if we clear the trees we'll have this area highlighted we should have a decent amount of people for us right now so we've got two builders and there's quite a lot of building work to be done so we can have a maximum of nine right now we've got two builders which is good four labourers so things should be done fairly fast All right maximum log limit no we want to increase that to 400 we don't want a log limit of of 200 definitely not if we've got 200 logs now that's, that's really awesome I'll be so happy with that how many logs in there? Yeah, there's a couple in there any in the storage barn? none that I can see ah they're storing it up over here that's good so they are using the um, storage pile stockpile that I made in the previous episode that's good to see just sort of streamlining this whole operation and this area here and like the cabin woods area I'm hoping by building two houses like that there people who move into these houses will work here so again we'll just be increasing efficiency that's what I'm hoping is gonna happen whether it will that's a different story entirely um right yeah, our population's going nicely. I don't think I want to put any more builders on there, just because 
between the two of them, they can get the job done quite quickly. I want the just the normal laborers to cut down these trees as fast as possible. So we're just so we're keeping up our uh, materials, raw materials, keeping up that as high as possible. As you can see, these um, storage piles are looking a bit empty right now. Maybe we'll sort that out in the future. I don't know. They're fine there for now. It's ever since getting the market in place that's stopped a lot of storage over this area and also getting down this one here just to increase the efficiency of their whole operation in this area ever since having those two things down these stockpiles the the original ones have just sort of i don't know they've dropped off a little bit which i'm not i'm not fussed by in all honesty it's, it's, it just means we've got extra area to store things in it's just not all in one place okay so what i am going to do then is once these are built I will just put a pause on these two I mean this one can probably be paused now because we've got we got a lot of lot um I wanted to say logs and no idea why herbs we've got a lot of herbs you can see I've put a maximum of 50 and we're on 80 so we're not struggling in that department at all what I do need to start thinking about though is believe it or not increasing our food income because we've been building quite a lot of houses and as the population grows which it does go really really quickly as that grows the, the food that they consume is, is ridiculous they go through so much okay so yeah that's the person that didn't have a job because I put that on pause but I'm pretty sure as soon as this one is built, which we're just waiting for Mr. Builderman to come and do, they'll be happy again. They'll be happy and ready to go. So we'll remove that structure. And we'll remove that structure. We'll keep that there for now. Not, not massive importance once we've got the other thing going. But it's bringing in a nice amount of logs. So for now, I'm just happy to keep that going. But the this is where I want my main source to come in from. And it's not produced massively yet, but I'm quite confident that it will do. So, and as long as we're bringing in the, um, the trees manually anyway, it's, it's not too much of an issue. We should have all the materials we need to do this. Yeah, you can see the gatherer's hut there. It's it's up and running. Uh, that one needs to be put on pause anyway. I'm assuming it is. I'm assuming that this one is the one being worked in. Why question mark? Do we have no herbalists at all? Yeah, we do. There we go. See, there we go. It's already capped. But it's just... The point of it is just to make sure, you know, just to make sure we've got enough medicine going around. We, sh we shouldn't have a problem. Okay, there's... I'm assuming this is because we're out of... Okay, it's, I think it's because we're out of iron that's not being built. Huh. Okay, I'm a little worried that that person's cold and this has there's no firewood there I mean there is firewood around to be had but oh yay okay so I'm gonna put this on pause for a sec right so the merchant has arrived at a newly made trading post let's see what we can have here Okay, so this is all the stuff we can put here in order for trading. Um, okay, so all this boat is selling is hide coats. That's it? Really? Hmm. Well, that's, that's not the best. It also, we have an orders thing, so the next boat that comes through will have these on them if I want to order them. But that does increase the cost. You were already making iron tools. I'm not really in any position to make steel tools at the minute. 
the same goes for warm coat or wool coat. I just have to stick with the hide coats for now. Hey, all, we should be able to set that up ourselves once we get a brewery going. I mean, we've got plums, I want to say. Yeah. So that will just allow us to make plum ale. So I'm not going to really do anything with that. No, I'm going to... No, there's nothing here for me. Just dismiss you. And on you go with your day. So there you go. Look, whoop de woo And he's off. I I'm wondering, because I don't think I've ever actually taken a building down in this game before, whether these give you... um. Resources back. Interesting to see. Let's just wait and see here. It's been demolished really quick. Yeah, okay, so look, it does give you a bit of materials. It's nice. It's nice. Um, iron. Iron is something that we need. There should be iron in. Oh, yes, there's iron in this area. We're going to collect it all about this iron life right now just we'll collect a nice amount just by hand we've got the laborers okay food that's actually getting that's dropping fast so what I'm gonna do is crop field or orchard crop field I think we'll make another crop field and we we'll wanna put it around there I want it <coughs> excuse me I want it like this because then in here we can squeeze some houses and also I believe in there we can also fit some houses and that's what I want to do so if we get that done we'll be able to sort out our food hopefully I mean I understand that they're not really going to clear out the trees straight away because I've got a lot going on. Although this area does look like it's been built up now, which is it's looking pretty neat actually. I'm 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 proud of this. You can see the massive amount of trees in the area now surrounding it. None are gonna grow on there unfortunately, a little hill. It's a bit of a, a nuisance. But I can't really stop that. That's how the game goes. So yeah this area's been cleared out now. We've got that still there. Um Eventually that will be removed. Maybe I'll put another one down further down the line. But for now, that's good. And hopefully for next episode, or in the next episode, this new crop field will be built. And that pretty much wraps up the episode. So on that note, that should just allow us to, um, as you can see, we've got 51 people total now, which is, which is quite high considering all the struggles we had at the start and the amount of people we had at the start so we're getting there but we do need to increase our food source so that and possibly a fishing post out here for these people and I might start having a little town over there like houses in that area as well for that fishing post that might start to solve our issues I mean we still got a thousand which is fine but it is going to go down quickly, especially with the rate that we're going to be um, having people being born now. You can see all the stone houses I've been building. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and leave me any feedback that you think I could use to improve my videos for future reference. Thanks very much. Take care.